Okay, so here's a little video to show how I do my knockout method. Um, I got a few requests on how to do it um, on this particular design. So here's the design that I've chosen. This is what we're going to figure out how to do. Uh, so let's get rid of this. <clears throat> and we're going to start from scratch. I personally like to use uh, Impact as a font, but any font where the letters are big and chunky and kind of are close together is a really good one to choose. <clears throat> so the quote that I chose, and we'll do it all in caps, is in October we wear pink and then breast cancer awareness. Okay, so I have my text here and you could do each line separately or you could do them all like this, just, you know, it's your preference. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease this line space and I really want to bring everything really close together because the knockout will just look better if there's not a lot of space um, in between. <clears throat> so we're going to bring all of that nice and close together. All right, that looks good. And then I'm going to bring the line spacing in a little bit too. And I'm going to go in and kind of move some letters around too because some of them just aren't where I want them to be. Uh, so I'm going to ungroup the whole thing. <clears throat> and then like, I don't like how the C and the T and the T and the O are a little bit further apart. So the way that I do this is I will kind of highlight up to here. So all of those letters are together. Then I don't, I'm not moving things over from really far away later. And then I'll bring that T nice and close. Do the same thing, but this time just to the O and move that a little bit closer. <clears throat> All right, that looks good. And then that looks good. This one looks fine. Uh, I kind of wish that this S was a little bit closer to the A. And then that this T was a little bit closer to the S. Oops. All right, and then the A and the W and the A, I never like how that looks, so I'm gonna move those closer together. And I kind of do this by eye, but I'm sure there are some of you who, you know, might need to, might want to use your guides a little bit more. Um, I guess it's just how OCD you are. Uh, and then I'm going to now take this and I'm going to group that together. I'm going to take the next row and I'm going to group that together. <clears throat> I'm going to take the next row, group it, next row, group it, and the last row and group it together. So now what I do is I'm gonna take each individual row. And so the line spacing, you really didn't need to do it ahead of time because I'm gonna throw it all out of whack now too. Um, if it would have lined up perfectly, it would have been fine. So I don't like to start so far up because then you know when you click it, it pulls that bar some, down sometimes, although it shouldn't because I already ungrouped. Um, <clears throat> so I'll put it right here because so we can click this unlock. And I'm going to pull it to about nine and a half because that's how many inches I wanted across my shirt. So, and then I should put it one more line because I started a little bit later. So in October, I'm gonna do the same thing and I really just wanna line these up so that in October we wear, and then this is kind of big since it's not so important. And I want the pink to be really big. Pink. <clears throat> and I'll make this the zoom a little bit smaller there. Let's bring that back. And breast cancer. And this is all just, you know, how you feel and what you think looks good when it comes to stretching it out. Um, and I'll go back in and tweak some of this once I see it all together and decide if I like it or if I want to change anything. So in October we wear pink, breast cancer awareness. It is a little boxier, I think, than the last one that I did was. I'm just going to move it over a little bit so I can see it better. Um, <clears throat> so I could change some things. I can make the wear a little bit shorter. I like the size of the pink. Um, the October could probably be a little shorter too, so let's pull both of those up a little higher. And it really is just playing with it until you get the shapes that you like. 
breast cancer. I do want that to be nice and big because um, that is what we're raising awareness for. And I'll probably make the awareness a little bit smaller, just like that. All right, so some things that I've noticed now that it's all kind of bunched together right here is that the we wear is a little bit for too far away from me. Um, <clears throat> and a large portion of the ribbon is actually gonna be cutting through there. So I kind of just wanna move just a little bit closer. You still want it to look like two separate words, but I just don't want such a big gap. And then I'm gonna group it again and I'm gonna pull it over so that it lines up at the edge. Oh, I have to unlock it again. All right, so there's a little bit more line. And there, you know, might be a little bit too much space for my taste. So let's squeeze it all back down together. All right, a little bit closer. That's a little too close. All right, so here's my design. So we're pretty much ready to go and actually, you know, and, and this is again, part of that OCD, depending on how, how much it annoys you, but the P and the I are a little bit too far away from each other. For me, I prefer them to be a little bit closer and I could probably just move this N and K a little bit closer as well. Um, okay, so now let's regroup that and I'm gonna unlock it and stretch it to the end. Okay, so now we've got this nice big box, select all of it and I'm gonna weld it together. All right, and then I have design space access, you know, depending on what you guys do, you can look for a ribbon somewhere, and actually I'll find it a little bit faster if I do breast cancer ribbon. And, oh, which ribbon did I use? Hmm, it was right on the top last time. And this is the one I used. Um, and I think it's actually something that I uploaded, not from Design Space, now that I look at it. Um, and I'm gonna change it to pink so I can kind of see where it is and where my placement is. All right, and I, you know, I tried it like this initially and it didn't really look good when I, when I cut it out. So when I shifted it, it turned out really well and it kind of really like got centered right over the pink is where that ribbon really showed up. So I liked, I really liked the way that had come out. So we'll do it like that again. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be lined up exactly like mine. You can do it however you see fit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I wanted everything kind of lined up in the corners and here, but then I left the tail end of the ribbon hanging off a little bit and I think I unlocked it and kind of stretched it out just a little bit more. It added a little something to have that extra bit of ribbon at the end. So now I'm going to select both images. So when you do a slice, you can only select two images. So if you remember, I welded together this whole back image and it won't select it right now, but this is all one piece. And if you look at the side over here, you'll see there's only two things. So you can either select it like this, or you can go to the side, click this box, hit your shift key and click that box and it will select both of them. All right, and then down here at the bottom, if you guys are following my mouse, I'm just gonna hit the slice button. All right, it gets a little tricky here because you know the layers, so you have to make sure you're pulling the right layer. So I know that this tail end is going to come off of my design for the first round, so I'm gonna pull it from here. So if you see how great that looks, we have the ribbon, you can see the knockout. So from here, you can actually just select from here, the black, and then just kind of go to the center and pull, oh, it didn't work. All right, so we're going to undo that and push it back. So I'll select that again, and then what I'm gonna do is going to move it backwards. All right, so then hopefully this time when I click it, nope, undo that. All right, let's get off of here, Ooh, and let's click back in here, and let's see if I can move, nope. So it needs to move back a little bit further. So I'm gonna click it again, I'm gonna click arrange again, and I'm gonna write move backward. Okay, so now, uh, now it's highlighted there. So I'm gonna take that and I'm going to slide it off. So there we got rid of our black letters and you can just delete that because we don't need it anymore. And now you have this design. But as you can see, the tail end of my little ribbon is still attached to this part, which we're going to throw away because we don't need it. So what I did here is I took a little square shape 
Again, if you want to slice, you need two images. So I'll place this square right over where I want it, and I put it right under those letters. I'm going to select both of those. Only two images are selected, the square and the um, piece of the ribbon that I'm taking out. I'm going to slice that. And then you can throw out the gray box, you can throw out the gray piece of ribbon. And we're just going to slide this over here. Great. So that is selected. And now what I can do, I can, well, let's get rid of this first. So we don't need this anymore. Goodbye. Select that. Hold down your shift key. And then select the ribbon as well. And I'm going to weld those two together. Okay? So now if you see, when you go to your cut, when you go to your make it, you're going to have two pieces. You're going to have this and you're going to have this. Okay, so it's going to cut first the black and then the pink or vice versa. So I'm going to undo that so it lines up again. All right, and then we're going to go to make it. Okay, just so you can see. So as you can see, my first cut is going to be in October. It's the black letters. And make sure that you mirror that when it's time to print if you're going to use it for something iron on. Um, if you're just planning on making a decal, there's no need to mirror it. Go to the next one. Make sure you mirror it. And you're going to have two pieces. It's going to cut out. When it comes time to press them together, um, you're going to want to put your first layer down and just put enough heat on it to make it stick to the shirt. You don't want to heat it the full amount of time because HTV will shrink. And then maybe your lines aren't going to line up as much. When I did go to do the shirt, um, when I pulled the plastic off the shirt, it kind of stretched out the material in between the letters and when I went to go line it up it didn't really line up perfectly um, so what you can do in that case is just go ahead and just start cutting along the lines over here and just see if you can get it to line up better if it's not one whole image but um, it is a little bit more complicated than a traditional just you know one color design but good luck to you guys. I hope you like the tutorial. I hope to help you to do the knockout method. Um, and enjoy.